it's Maya here and today I am doing an exciting summer bikini haul with Cupshe. Before I dive into this video, I just wanted to let you guys know that I am filming on my new camera, which is the Fujifilm X-T4. It just came in the mail after months of waiting, and I'm so excited to get to know the camera and get to use it. I do have a film degree, so it's kind of like a stepping stone for me. Yeah, I'm really excited. I shot this entire video with the Fujifilm, so it's a little bit of a learning curve. Not all the shots are going to be perfect, and it's a learning process, so... And I just wanted to thank you guys so much for supporting me here on YouTube and everyone who supported me on Patreon as well. I wouldn't be here if it weren't for you guys. I wouldn't be upgrading my equipment. I think it's so amazing that I'm able to take some of the earnings that I make and some of the Patreon support that you guys have given me and put that back into investing into the quality of my YouTube content. So just stay tuned for this journey. <laughs> So let's get started on the bikini haul. So for this haul, Kapshi sent me six bikinis. I didn't have to pay for them, so it's not a uh, self-purchase. They offered to send me some. Um, I'm not being paid to make this video, so I'm not gaining any money from this in any way. But yeah, so let's get started. So first off, I'm gonna show you guys this really cute striped bikini that I got. And I will say, sometimes I'm worried about sizing when I'm ordering overseas because sometimes they have different measurements and stuff and a lot of the stuff is smaller in size than what it would be here on the Western side. But everything actually fit like a dream and the quality is comparable to anything here in North America. So here's the bottoms and here is the top. I really like this one. It's got a cute sailor vibe to it. It's very simple, but it would go with anything on the beach. A nice pop of red lipstick would go nice as well. Next, I got this beautiful, almost like velour or like crushed velvet bikini. And it has amazing cute accent straps that go around the breasts and also around the bottoms as well. I absolutely love this one. It's one of my favorites. It's got that little unique flair to it, which is awesome. Next, I have this mango colored bikini. It's got these really cute accents on it. They're like little ruffles, little half circles. And it's just such a fun, bright, summery bikini and I love the way that it fits. It's very flattering and very cute. Another one of my favorite bikinis that I got was the lime green high-waisted bikini. The color absolutely pops on my skin. It makes me look sun-kissed and tanned, uh, even though it's all self-tanner and I have not actually been tanning this summer. But yeah, I love the little knot on the front. It gives you a nice little cleavage moment and it's so cute. Next, I have my mono bikinis, which I think are honestly underrated so for mono kinis it means it's kind of like a one piece but it's like a cute one piece it's not just like a basic one piece it's got multiple parts to it and lots of straps and it's so cute i love the pattern it's such a fun like almost i don't know like it kind of looks tribal a little bit but not really it's like uh, diamond shapes it almost looks like scales like mermaid scales but like orange it's really cute uh, and i love the way that it fits and then last but certainly not least, I have this other gorgeous monokini, and it has kind of a halter as well, and it just is so gorgeous. It has such a unique fit to it. I love the pattern. The blue looks really nice with my skin tone, and I just think it all pops beautifully. I'm really happy with all of the stuff that I picked out on their site um, and I will leave all the links down below if you guys are interested. I honestly have no complaints. Everything fit. Everything was good material. It was thick and yeah it was lots of fun. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Uh, it was just a fun cute little fluffy swimwear video. Um, I love fashion and I haven't been able to do a lot of that for you guys recently so I'd love to do more outfit videos and stuff and we'll see where that goes. I've had some behind the scenes stuff I've been working on. I, my summer may be a little bit different than what I had planned, which is honestly for the better and more exciting. So fingers crossed if this shoot happens, it will be another film shoot. So I'm kind of just like excited for that and waiting for that to happen. It'll be in Nova Scotia. So I'm just kind of waiting to get my plane ticket and stuff. I know a little scary traveling during pandemic, but I will be quarantining. So that's kind of my plan for now. Uh, but I was happy to do this video and to do something summer oriented. It's Canada Day, so try to, I don't know, 
have some fun, relax a little bit. I know it's not always a positive day for everyone because there is a lot of marginalized people in Canada who aren't so appreciated in our country and we need to do more to help them, such as Indigenous and First Nations people. So there's that as well, but I'm just going to try to keep all that stuff in mind, but still celebrate the rights and the freedoms that I do have because I consider myself very lucky as a trans person to be born in North America, specifically Canada, where healthcare is so much more accessible than it is in other parts of the world and freedoms for people like me are a lot more accessible. We still have a long way to go, but I think Canada is working towards a better future. <laughs> So let me know what you guys think. Tell me your absolute favorite bikini look in the comments down below and we'll see which one wins. I hope you guys enjoyed this video and I will see you guys next time. Bye.